nature, I, I fell addicted to methamphetamine and, and I didn't even do drugs. So um, I've raised children on my own, I've been a single father, I've had a business, um, I've had lots of challenging things in my life, but by, by seeking to numb, this has been the biggest challenge and the most transforming thing that's ever happened to me. There's a culture in the meth world is you don't talk, you know, you keep it to yourself, you never admit, you never knock, you, you know, you, you don't talk about it. If you're asked with a pipe in your mouth, you go, no, I ain't got it. You know, you just <coughs> got to deny, deny, deny. And, and because um, it's class A drug, there's so much to lose. And a lot of families, whanos, they won't um, come forward. They're too scared that their family member's going to go to jail. You know, so there's too, there's too much negative consequence in their eyes. So therefore, just that vicious circle just keeps going and keeps going. But I just want to say, and the whole idea was this, was because what drugs are still yet to come here? Okay, Yapa should have been 18 years ago. And when Yapa comes here, they're going, to be stab they're going to be stabbing their kids. They're not taking them. Okay, at the moment I'm, I'm having problems with um, St. Felix, you know, St. Felix. Mm -hmm. they, do they just changed the names. But in St. Felix, what do you got? You got rat poison. You got embalming in it. Okay, why are we educating people now? <clears throat> so this is the whole idea of getting this movement going. So as each year goes by, we're going to tackle whatever drug is not here yet. We're not going to wait for 30 years until it destroys everybody. And that's the whole idea of our movement. Okay, so that's our that's our end of the session. My name is uh, Dennis Makaleo. Um, I'm here today because um, I think the Pacific Island people need to um, address um, addiction, especially in their fan um, The most evil struggle in the world. Um, I've seen it destroy a lot of families and all that in the last 20 years. And um, I'll hate to see, you know, once it gets into the to the Pacific of people, which it is, already has, but no one addressing it. I don't want to be left for another 30 years like um, everybody else has suffered. Without us speaking up, no, no one else is going to do it. So we've been doing it for um, eight months now, and um, since that eight months now, we've opened up about six walk-ins right from New Zealand. More people are interested. Over 3,500 are close page of addicts helping one another. Um, we're just um, inventing tools at work today because there's no rehab, there's no detox, there's no help out there. And you know, when someone puts their hand up and they want help, if they can't get it, then you know, more likely they're going to do suicide. But you know, if, if, if all the Pacifica people are all about um, preventing um, 
you know, violence against women is not okay, suicide, gambling, you know, you've got to hurry and start, and then be honest with yourself and, um, yeah, a lot of it's through addiction. And, you know, if, 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 if you don't talk about addiction, you know, I don't know how you're supposed to, to save or stop violence, suicide, prostitution, gambling, poor health, it just goes on and on and on. So we're here just to educate people, uh, to answer questions, of anything they may want to know about it, what's happening in society, and, and basically how we can remedy what's going on. We need more rehabilitation services, more detox services, and we also need a better system where people get help quicker. Uh, so it's about educating and also getting people help as, as soon as possible. It's made a huge impact on my life. Uh, it's, it's been life changing, and, uh, you know, so much so that I've never had anything take over my life and, and totally lose my control as a person. And it really scared the bejesus out of me, and um, it can happen to anyone because I wasn't a druggie. So, so, you know, what I'm saying is it, it's, it's a scary phenomenon and it's very powerful. And, um, to not do anything about it for me is just not, a, not an option. You know, we all have to talk about it and normalise the solution, or else we're part of the problem. Really.